Two guys explore secret underground bunker underneath pipes sticking out of ground. Two men in Germany were out exploring the fields when they found two pipes sticking up from the ground in the middle of nowhere. They shared their story on Reddit and it is nothing short of amazing. This is one of our favorite stories of urban exploration. Their stories here and what they found is simply fascinating. After finding the pipes in the field, locating the entrance wasn't too hard. This is the entrance, 100 meters or so from the periscopes and surrounded by coniferous trees. It was covered with a wooden lid which was easy to remove using a crowbar. The iron door you can see in the picture would swing back in but the lock was broken so they couldn't get trapped inside. What you can see here is what you'd see for the next few minutes, nothing but endless hospital-like hallways. They said the acoustics were, in a word, haunting. A pipe and plastic bag on the floor presumed from a local supermarket. Hallways like this occurred several times. They decided to keep going straight in order to avoid getting lost. The holes in the wall on the right appeared to be punched with a hammer. This is what you see when you turn left at the intersection seen above. The narrow hole in the floor was filled with dirty water, nothing to see here. A little later at the second intersection, they found what seemed like a clogged entrance covered in graffiti. Obviously, they weren't the first people to visit. The hallway, as they found out, wasn't straight at all. It had several slight turns leading to another long hall to the left. You can see more random punches in the wall and this is the view looking back. At this point, they were both uncertain if they should proceed or get the hell out of there. Notice the graffiti in the top right, the one on the left translates to help. This big yellow door came out of nowhere. They were expecting and hoping for an exit or another dead end. They had no clue how a single person or even couple people would be able to open those since they seemed as heavy as bank vault doors. There were Cyrillic letters in the Slavic alphabet on this particular one, yet it was hard to decipher. Right next to one of the broken doors, it reads exit number two, according to a friend. I don't know what these did back in the day, possibly ventilation? After passing a lot, and I mean a lot of those heavy safe doors, the rooms seem to become more and more destroyed, as you can see from the decayed walls. Looking back where they came from, you can get an impression of the number of heavy doors any visitor had to pass, placed directly one after the other. Proceeding onwards, the graffiti clearly read, Hello Satan, I love you. Not something you want to read down there. Here's a different angle of the Satan graffiti seen on the wall to the left, and they decided to enter the corridor on the front left. The walls were massive and metal-like. My friend and I suspected it to be lead or something similar. Notice a small red number on the wall 2211, and the cryptic painting in the background made of black lines. When you passed a few corners in the lead wall corridor, you'd set foot in this flooded area, which was set a single step below the prior rooms. They only stuck their heads in to take some pictures. This is what you'd see when you turn left. A bigger room, also flooded, it seemed slightly tilted. Notice another ventilation pipe right next to the door. This was the first time on the whole tour one of the explorers literally panicked, terrified by the silhouette of this pile of rubble resembling a crouching or sitting man. Another flood, they were stopped by another impassable corridor. When already heading back to where they came from, my friend found this spooky gem. It was the biggest room so far but only visible through little square holes in the walls. Back view of the machine. On the wall in the background, right below the ceiling pipes, you can see the narrow gap from where he took the picture above. Random gloves found in one of the tiny gaps. Random shoe left in the mud. This is a sign on the floor reading stay back, situated right next to the Great Hall. These spikes look like just icicles but were some kind of mineral phenomenon. Right after this shot, the camera went down and we headed back to the entrance. Pretty creepy, right? I don't think I'd have stayed in as long as they did. I wonder what those types of bunkers were really used for. Would you explore this? Let us know in the comments below.